Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. First NFL game of season ends in disaster. Ratings plummet to level not seen in 10 years. The NFL had a rough season last year with an ailing drama during the national anthem. Bleachers were at times very empty and profits were down across the board. Many sports fans just turned their backs on the whole sordid affair and just walked away, swearing off football for the foreseeable future. The Philadelphia Eagles and the Atlanta Falcons played in the season opening game last night and it ended in disaster. Ratings plummeted to levels not seen in 10 years. 19 million viewers tuned in on the Comcast-owned network. The viewership fell 13% in broadcast audience from last year's NFL opener with the New England Patriots and the victorious Kansas City Chiefs. The Eagles won the game last night 18-12 and as I understand it, there was no kneeling to be seen. NBC can't be happy about another year of double-digit decline like this. Last year's opener held the previous record. All of this leads right back to Colin Kaepernick who is now out of football and making millions with Nike as the new face of Just Do It. I'm betting that Nike is going to financially rue the day they did that. From Deadline Hollywood In Fast Affiliates, the season opener drew a 6.627 among adults 18 to 49. A drop of 14% from the final demo numbers of the September 7, 2017 game. When you factor in rising streaming and digital viewership, last night's audience for current Super Bowl champs the Eagles v. The Falcons drew 19.5 million. In a rare state of affairs, but maybe not unexpected due to the more than one hour late start of the game because of weather, the matchup peaked very early. About 21.7 million were watching in the 9.30 to 9.45 p.m. ET slot during the first quarter of what was then a pretty slow game. It was, of course, a pretty slow night on the non-NFL portion of primetime with CBS Big Brother, 1. 4 sixths, and ABC's match game, 0. 6 thirds, up a tenth each from that respective last originals. The Disney-owned Nets take 2, 0. 4 halves, was unchanged from last week, not something the NFL gets to say from a year ago. There was no kneeling as I said before, but Eagles defensive end Michael Bennett took to the bench in protest during the national anthem. The general sentiment is this late starting game wasn't the most inspiring event to be seen. In a brutal development, at one point Philly fans were booing the current Super Bowl champs on live TV for their lame efforts on the field. Ouch! And just as it looked like Atlanta would pull a win off, the Eagles ran a variation of their Super Bowl move, the Philly Special. With some quick moves, QB Nick Foles snagged a 15-yard pass from teammate Nelson Aguilar on a reverse to seal an 18-12 victory for the Eagles. May. The win from behind certainly did not translate into higher ratings. More from Deadline Hollywood. With a 13. Four-fifths in the metered markets, the post-midnight ending game is down 8% from last year's kickoff of September 7, 2017. In one of the lowest season openers ratings-wise and facing portions of a cable news-covered rally by a very NFL-critical President Donald Trump, last night's game is not only down from last year, but 2016, 2015 and 2014, all of which saw successive declines. To add more injury to that. The 2017 8.42 p.m. ET starting season opener between the victorious Kansas City Chiefs and New England Patriots ended up with a week 7.729 rating among adults 18 to 49 and 21.8 million viewers. That was a double-digit decline from 2016 and the worst total audience an opening game had since 2009. Even in a TV landscape where ratings and viewership are noticeably dipping, unless you are This Is Us or Game of Thrones, those results have to worry the NFL and the broadcasters especially the still Rupert Murdoch-owned Fox with its pricey Thursday night football debuting this year. Here are the top 10 local markets for last night's face-offs. 1. Philadelphia 32.954 2. New Orleans 24.635 3. Atlanta 19.836 4. Denver 17.533 5. Milwaukee 17.329 6. Richmond 17.028 7. Norfolk 16.629 8. Dallas 15.829 9. Greensboro 15.226 10. Oklahoma City 14.725 tied with Albuquerque 14.724 I sincerely doubt that Sunday night football will fare much better. It starts this Sunday with the Green Bay Packers versus the Chicago Bears. NBC and the NFL are off to a terrible start. A well-earned and deserved one if you ask me. 
No one wants to watch wealthy athletes pretend to be social justice warriors. Looks like their players' political antics are going to cost them big time. Again. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.